Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Phoenix. Welcome to another episode for Out to Lunch. Guys, we got a very special episode today. We're here over at Tex Mex Kitchen on Southeast 14th Street in Des Moines, Iowa. I'm going to be trying some really great food today, really great conversation. Uh, I'm looking forward to the birria ramen. I'm looking forward to the hot cheeto burrito, man. There's just so much good food. Let's get into it. Oh, yeah, bro. I think, I think basically, bro, I think the city has a lot of like, talent, bro. I think, yeah. um, you know, I think that's what a lot of things come like. Right? It's just wide open right yeah. now. And I, I, think, I think what you're doing is pretty cool, bro. I think yeah. you're bringing a lot, of, a lot of attention to the city, yeah. which is cool, which is what they need, you know what I'm saying? And um, I mean, basically, dog, what I did was just basically bring the like the food from Los Angeles. I just brought it here, bro, yeah. and, and like introduce it. Because when I before I started the food truck, there wasn't really no taco truck out there doing something yeah. different besides just tacos. Which yeah. I mean, I respect a lot. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But I wanted to bring something different, yeah. bro, something that's gonna impact the city. Bro. So what I did is I just brought the brought the hot cheeto burrito, yeah. the, the birria ramen. You know, before before it was just the the, the birria, which was our number one hit. Yeah. But then I started like putting different dishes out there. Like, was it was it kind of like, what else can I do? Like, you see like the traditional taco trucks that are here, which is like, like you said, is amazing. Like, you know, there's good food everywhere, but it's like, how can I put a twist kind of on it? Yeah, like, definitely, bro. I mean, that's what I kind of did. But basically, I just brought the food from over there, yeah. here, and then I kind of did my own, like, you know, you put your own flavor yeah. to it. And it just kind of hit, bro. It just went, it went crazy. What, what part of Cali were you from? Well, I'm from, I'm from East Los Angeles. Okay. Bro. I got family in Pomona, Compton, Watts, and all yeah. that stuff. So I used to go there constantly to yeah. go visit them, you know. But uh, lately, I've been focused on this and stuff. Yeah. So, but yeah, man, there's a lot of, you know, I, I like a lot of the culture out there, bro. Yeah. You know, everybody's out gone, they're cool. The food is just always good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you just get a, good, a lot of good vibe over there. So basically, you know, I just wanted to do something different here. Something that was gonna impact it basically and just I mean, just switch the game of the food truck, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I started putting the videos out there, man. I know these target trucks were really doing that, you know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah. And so I just started putting videos out there, just you know, just put it, I just had fun with it, yeah. honestly, bro. And I and I you know I just kinda I just kinda wanted to bring that flavor here, bro. Basically. I think it's like showcasing creativity and then it's always fun to be creative and everything, and then also like, yeah, bringing that here when it's not like I've had conversations like off air with different people and stuff it's like a lot of things that are from coast to coast like always comes into Des Moines it always we're the heart like we're smack dab in the right. middle of everything so like a lot of the culture comes from within uh you know west coast east coast and stuff so it's been dope to see like I'm I try to be tapped in with a lot of stuff in the west coast because like that's just like yeah. the mindset I've always yeah, had yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah. so like it's dope to see like the places you know what I mean like everything come here and, like the idea of like a hot cheeto burrito like yeah. you see it on a tiktok you see it on like instagram and shit right, like it's right, cool right. to see like it's here like people are messing with it and everything yeah man i mean when we when i when we put that hot cheeto burrito out bro i mean social media just went wow bro i had i mean I, we had lines out here you know we had people we had people taking pictures right here in front yeah. of the logo which was pretty cool you yeah. know what i'm saying like that's what i want people to do is man it's just to come enjoy it bro but it just went crazy bro when i put that video out and i kind of knew it was going to impact it but i didn't think it was going to impact it that much yeah. you know what i'm saying so i think that's when we got a lot of attention was that and then and then i put the before i put the beater ramen up but it didn't hit like the hot cheeto bro. yeah it just went wow i think it's just like the hot cheeto is like such a like a staple of like childhood yeah, or yeah, like, yeah. you know just this in high school you get a hot cheeto with some arizona tea or something and yeah bro i think it's just yeah, when you put yeah. it with everything Definitely, you know what i mean bro. like yeah, so it just like flavor. it goes a little back with yeah it, it's just know? it's just kind of our childhood yeah, yeah you're right about that man it's, it's kind of like our childhood like the hot cheetos you know pop and arizona yeah. all that stuff i mean I like all that stuff, so I think that's why a lot of the like the, our 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 generation, yeah. like uh, younger, yeah. they, they kind of like I see that a lot here. You know yeah. what I'm saying? A lot of the older folks, and you know, but they like the authenticity yeah. of this place. But also, you get the younger crowd, yeah. bro, where they're like, you know what, this is cool. Bro. It's, it's the other thing, like I was talking to you about, is like these bigger corporations, like Taco Bell, like you know, like the all that kind of stuff. Yeah. They're they're trying to do all their thing and like bring the culture from like the authentic side like over there with like the burrito cheeto burrito and yeah, all that bro, stuff so yeah. like why not instead of spending money over there come support like local, local business, business definitely bro it's because i think about. i think they i think local businesses food trucks got more flavor than yeah bigger. yeah i mean that's you know because you put you put your passion to it bro honestly man you know some people you know I, I like i like to just you know i like to put a lot of like a lot of work into my meat bro. like like you got my salad bro we marinated yeah you know what i'm saying the Dal Pastor, bro, I take time, you know, I used to, like, get home, bro, like, at 2 o'clock, bro, you know, go to sleep, but before I had to close down at 9, I had to get home, bro, and it was just me, my mom, and my wife, bro, just yeah. cooking everything, marinating everything, bro, 
and it took us a minute, bro. So yeah. we didn't go to we didn't go to sleep till like maybe one, two o'clock. Straight and then, work. Yeah, and then yeah. start over yeah. again, bro. Because we wanted to put that passion. Yeah. In. We just didn't want to serve no, no, just nothing like we wanted to impact it, bro. We wanted to put our, yeah. our food out there, our passion. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's why a lot of people. No, you good, bro. <laughs> a lot of people come this way, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because uh, it's, 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 it's the flavor of the food, bro. I think a lot of it, you can tell passion for food. You know what I mean? Yeah, like you bro. can tell if a chef's really like cares about like what you just said about like clothes here at nine but then you're still working yeah, afterwards work that's the heart of small business that's the heart of you know just someone who's passionate about wanting to go to the next level a lot of this stuff too you know? definitely bro you know and it's just i don't know man and I, and I keep i keep like i keep trying to invent new things and just trying to see i think right now i'm stalling i just want to perfect like, yeah. the food that i got yeah plus i think this truck that i got right now basically just it's just what it is bro. Yeah. so i can push it you know yeah I mean? a lot of people want me to open up a restaurant and all that stuff but I don't think I'm ready yet, bro. I'm, I'm trying to like figure out more of the restaurant business, yeah. bro. Because like, to me, it's new too. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Um, I didn't, I didn't know too much about it, bro. I just kind of jumped into it. When I first started, uh, we started making burgers, bro. Oh, just shit. burgers, yeah. no tacos, no nothing. Yeah. Me and my wife, bro. I remember we used to post up over at the uh, Lucas Building, oh, okay, right there. Yeah, so yeah. you know, and we used to be there early, bro. And uh, our prices were a little too low. You know, a lot of people told us, you know what, your food is good, but your prices are way too low. So we kind of went up. You know, we kind of experimented. I just started putting tacos out there and then the birra and it just it just yeah. rolled over, you know what I'm saying? It just went crazy. It's like a snowball effect where it yeah, keeps bro, going and yeah, going. And you know, and I think I think I like like I think like like talking to people bro, yeah. out here, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the customers and stuff. And you tell them kind of what everything's going on and stuff. I think they appreciate that a lot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like that about the truck, bro. Yeah. Like they're welcoming to I feel people. like there's more like I've always been and like that's something that's come here food truck kind of business and now we have like the food truck throw down like all this other yeah, stuff bro, yeah. and like there was a point in time where there was probably just just only taco trucks and on top of that like very few and like it's it's dope to see the food truck culture come and that's such a west coast thing yeah bro mainly west coast there's east coast out there too but west coast the food truck culture is so big it's, 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 yeah, it's dope to see big, like, bro. yeah and i think i think it's coming a lot here yeah. bro. like everything like you said bro a lot of the stuff is coming from los angeles yeah. New York, and it's just the Moines is grown, yeah. and it's grown with a lot of beautiful people, a lot of food culture, yeah. a lot of everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think, and, and I think a lot of people like just want to see that about the Moines. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's why I said like I appreciate you. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Bro. Yeah, man. the city's growing. Right? No, it's it growing, and there's a lot. There's a lot of things going on right now, and it needs, and it needs to get exposed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. No, I'm excited, man. I'm excited to to eat. I'm excited to try the food and everything. And uh, even with the social media thing, man, I think it's amazing what you're doing. I think it's smart, but then right. also just like connecting the community. Yeah, and that's yeah, what it's yeah. all about. It's connecting community cultures together. Definitely, together. Bro. But you know, I'm I'm really excited to try the food. Yeah, bro. We're so, gonna get it. Hopefully, we get it out of here. Yeah, bro. We'll get into it. We're gonna do one man. Yeah. Then. Uh, Anything you feel like is like, like I'm down to eat anything, like I'm not picky at all, so anything that you'd like to recommend, bro. For sure, we gotta showcase that here. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, the, uh, on the ramen. Yeah, yeah. it's a ramen. Yeah. Yeah. We'll definitely put a hot Cheeto burrito. Right, right. We'll, 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 we'll just feast it up, bro, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. So I, I'm gonna put down the ramen beer, we'll put some man, the pizzeria, which is the big pizzeria, yeah. Yeah. and then the hot Cheeto burrito, bro. Yeah. I'm gonna do steak for the hot Cheeto. So yeah, we'll do beef And the ramen, of course, is beef Okay, my man. Anything else you want to add uh, to it, man? I think, I think that's Maybe like two drinks. Yeah, we'll get yeah, a drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah we of course you need a drink. Yeah. Yeah. What, do you, uh, what? what do you want to do? Some coats? Yeah, that's cool. Coats, yeah? man. Do two coats, bro. Yeah. Okay, my man. I'm going to put it in. All right. We'll get it done here in a second, man. Yeah. yeah. Hey. hey. Pretty heavenly. It's perfect. Like the blood on a crimp, get a grip No soft hands can hang off this cliff I was molded by it like Bane would say I'm Colin Buchanan, motherfucker I'm... This is pretty fun. Alright, what should I try first, bro? Man, I think, uh You should definitely try the hot Cheeto burrito, bro Hot Cheeto burrito? This right here Oh, yeah, that's the burrito These three right here, though Alright Alright, so we got the birria ramen right here where he took some B-roll shots. Well, this is, of this is the, uh, the side stuff you can throw on, like your onions and okay. all that stuff, your Very cilantro, good. your mine. Man, that's a tough decision. <laughs> yeah, it is, honestly. I think we'll go burrito first. 
So you said this one, uh, you got the steak on this one? Yeah, there's the steak right there. What else is uh, in here? So uh, basically you got your, your your choice of meat, bro. Yep. Rice, beans, cheddar cheese, um, your hot Cheeto cores, bro. Lettuce and sour cream. Bro. Try not to get over it. You're gonna get a little messy, bro. Oh, I don't that's care. One, that's one thing with the, with the Tex-Mex kitchen, bro. A lot of a lot of dry juices in the food, bro. Good food's always messy, oh, yeah. bro. I mean, like, big portions, all that stuff. All right. Hey, bro. That's like right I'm gonna put some hot sauce, some hot sauce on that, bro. I would like try it before the hot sauce yeah. and after the hot sauce. <laughs> I get what you mean by, like you can tell you, you uh, with the meat. Like a lot of times, I feel like with certain burritos, with uh, just meat in general, yeah. people always look for the, the sauce with it before. And I always feel like with a, a good meat, you can eat it without like any Definitely, yeah, definitely. Bro. Simple, yeah. You got the guacamole sauce too, bro. You got to get you some. You try the guacamole. Oh, you're gonna have to try this. This is one of the things that uh, I had first heard about was the Iberia ramen because it's just, you know, we all, we love ramen, you know, ramen's just, and to mix it with like, you know, I'm such a big fan of Iberia too, so to put everything together, it's just crazy. That's how you feast too. Same <laughs> <laughs> take one more bite of this. I'm a big like sweet and spicy, like I like to make yeah, sure like both like always. Yeah. So every every Tuesday, bro, here at Tex Mix Kitchen, we have a dollar pastor tacos every Tuesday, dog. So just, that's good to know. Just to put that out there, <laughs> a lot of people come Tuesday, bro, just to get them dollar tacos and pastor. You were mentioning the the hot cheeto burrito. Like the lines were crazy and stuff like that, bro. In the summertime, bro, it just went crazy, bro. Like I had people sharing like our page, our our video for the, yeah. for, the um, for the hot cheeto. It just went crazy, bro. I mean, we had we had a line. You know, we had people waiting. We had people coming in from Marshalltown too. Hey, we had people coming in from Marshalltown, from uh, Bandaran, Anthony was in the room. It's gotta be a dope feeling though, like it is, when, you, when you talk to people like, "Where are you from, Marshalltown?" We just came. yeah, like it feels so good. I'm like, don't you guys have anything like that? Much like, nah, not really, not like this. You know what I'm saying? Which is pretty cool, though. Like I have, like I have clients, bro, that come once a week, yeah. to, just from out there, though, to some shit that I do. It's love and appreciation. It is, yeah, no, and that's, that's, and that, you know, all that hard work that I put in on, for somebody to sell us that, yeah. it just makes it work. Sometimes it's like, you don't want the recognition, but when you get the recognition, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, dope not to look, see. Yeah, yeah, you're not, not looking, looking for it. it. I'm not but, searching for it, yeah, but when people come, yeah, like, it's like that. Yeah, it feels cool, but like, dope. oh, really, dog, like, cool. You know what I'm saying? Listen. Listen. Ready for it, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. I almost forgot. Uh -huh. 
ですよ、ね